Hi everyone, this is Melissa from the admissions team here at the Nicholas School. And in this video, we are talking about GRE scores or rather the lack thereof. So if you happen to have clicked on this video as a Dell MEM applicant and are applying to our hybrid program for mid-career professionals, uh, this video is not for you. Uh, the Dell program does not, has not required the GRE as part of its application materials. Um, so thank you for stopping by, but you are welcome to continue on, uh, continue on with whatever is next on your list of things to do. Um, but for those of you that are here watching this video and you are applying to our on-campus MEM and MF programs, uh, we're going to talk in here about what it means to have suspended our GRE requirement for fall 2021 admissions. So back in August, uh, when things were still um, very much up in the air with the pandemic and with um, at-home testing through ETS was still, um, you know, had gotten, gotten the first couple of months under their belt, um, we decided that uh, suspending our GRE requirement was the best way for us to serve you, our students. Um, if we had made the test optional, um, it, a, it would have been hard to ensure equity in our review because some of you would have had scores, some would not. Um, some students might have felt pressured to take a test that wasn't going to fit for them. Um, and if we had required that, that really would have put um, an additional burden on top of um, a year that already had a lot of additional burdens. Uh, so we made the choice to suspend the GRE for fall 2021. And what that means is that on our application, there is no longer a space for you to self-report your GRE scores. And we do not need you to send scores to us. And if you have, we will not see them. Uh, so any scores that happen to have been sent to us um, either, you know, a couple of years ago, you took the GRE, had it sent on, you took it in the spring, what have you, um, we're not going to see those as part of our review. Um, so if you have not yet taken the test, please don't take it on our account. If you are worried about submitting your application because you haven't taken it yet, please go ahead and hit submit if that's the thing that's holding you up from clicking that button. Um, we do not, will not see, and will not be using those scores in our review this year. Uh, what that means in our review is that uh, even with the GRE scores, we spent so much time, uh, we're going to continue to spend the bulk of our time looking at your transcripts and your statement of purpose and your 15 random things and your recommendation letters. Um, it's truly that holistic review that digs into you know, every course, every grade, every semester, looking to see every transcript tells a story and we wanna see the story that yours shares. Um, if there is something, you know, there was a rough semester or whatnot that requires a little bit of extra explanation, like, cool, we're gonna look for um, clues to that in your statement of purpose, your 15 random things. Um, you know, we are going to be spending a lot of time with your recommendation letters that tell us things like how you show up in community. Um, I speak more to the recommendation letters, statement of purpose and 15 random things and other videos that you can link um, from our FAQ page. Um, but the, the heart of the matter is that the GRE uh, has never been the be all and end all uh, of an application decision here at the next school uh, because it truly is a holistic review looking at all of the pieces of your application. And what we're going to do this year while we have suspended our requirement is look at the role the GRE plays and has played in our application review. And later this cycle, our, uh, or later this, this academic year, our faculty and our leadership are going to make a decision about the future of the GRE in our review process. Uh, we don't know if we're going to require it for future application cycles. Um, that's a decision that has yet to be made. Um, and when we make it, please know that we will, we will let you know um, the result of that. Um, but for fall 2021, we're not using the GRE. Um, we have plenty of other information in the application for us to be able to make a well-informed decision about what it would look like to have you as our applicant here as our student and eventually as our alum. Uh, because that's really, that's really the piece of, of the Nick schools, the community that we have, the people that are here. Um, and 
that's that's the heart of the application review is is understanding um, what you would bring to our community and what our community could give to you while you're here um, and and how that could um, how that relationship could grow over time. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has clarified uh, some of those frequently asked questions popping into the inbox and, and in conversations about the GRE uh, for this year. Um, thank you so much for your time and good luck with your applications. We look forward to learning more about you. Thanks.